I'm Stephen Mulhern and this is Tricky TV. Now I like the kind of magic tricks that shock people like this. That makes <laughs> Amaze people like this. <laughs> and make people laugh like this. <laughs> you will see exactly that kind of magic on today's Tricky TV. I'll even let you in on some of my secrets. Coming up, I go into battle with a 10-ton tank by attempting to make it completely vanish. Will this boy survive when he gets totally mangled in front of his class in today's big trick? And our hidden cameras reveal what happens when this cookery class gets completely out of hand in today's Wicked Wind-Up. Trick I think you'll agree it's going to be a truly magic show. Now, magic with money always gets a great reaction. Have a look at this trick. Look, there's a pound in this hand and a penny in this hand. I just squeeze the pound and it jumps to join the penny. And here's some of the reactions you can get. And the pound jumps. Oh, what? What is it? Oh, oh my God. God. Do you have any money? Oh, oh. Jump. <laughs> so I need a pound coin. Yeah. Oh, my God. And a penny. Got a penny? How did you do that? This trick always gets people scratching their heads. You'll be able to confuse people too and join the secret circle when I tell you how to do it later on. Tricky. Tricky. I've come along to the Museum of Kent Life with a group of young people so they could see how people lived their day-to-day -day lives half a century ago. Are you all all right? Yes! Good stuff, all nice and loud. Now, I know they've seen lots of different objects here at the museum, but they haven't seen this yet. You see, this is a mangle. And in the olden days, people would use a mangle to dry their clothes. What they'd do is they'd squeeze all the wet clothes all through these big rollers until they were dry. Simple as that. But today on Tricky, we are going to use it for something very different. And I do need the help of one of you. Now, to make it a fair choice and a completely free choice, we've got them to write their names down on bits of paper. And we're just going to make sure they're all different. Let's have a little look. Where is Seth? Seth? Yeah. Hello, Seth. How are you doing? OK. Good man. Let's see and make sure they're all different again. Who's this? Ruby. Where's Ruby? Hello, Ruby. How are you? Fine. Good stuff. Now, to make sure it's definitely free choice, using a clear bag so you know that we're not going to hide anything, put your hand inside, take out anyone you like. I won't even look. Sit. Who have we got? Josh Dean. Josh Dean. Who's Josh? <laughs> Hiya, Josh. How are you doing? Hi. You all right? Come out this side. Hello. Hello. You okay? You don't need to look so nervous. You're going to be fine. All right, Josh, have you got a girlfriend or anything like that? No. No, has he? No. no, okay then, right. Now, Josh, what we're going to do is put you inside here. Can you get in there? Mind your head. Yeah. All right. What are you laughing at? We haven't even done anything yet. Yeah, it's not funny. Okay, yeah, it's not funny. All right, Josh, are you okay in there? Yep. Good, Matt. Now what we're going to do, by the way, look, you can see there's nothing underneath. There's Josh in the mangle and there's nothing on top, all right? Okay, Josh, say goodbye for a minute. Goodbye. Bye. All right. We're going to put this on here like this. There we go. And just lock Josh inside the box just there. That's great. And we're also going to put this... You're OK now, Josh? You're right? Yeah. Good man. <laughs> OK, now Josh can't see a thing. Remember, you can still see underneath. You can still see on top and all that sort of stuff. Now, this is when Tricky really comes into its own. Because what we're going to try and do is do exactly what they did in the olden days with their clothes, but with Josh. Watch. <laughs> <laughs> Is it working? I think it is. Let's have a look. Yes! <laughs> How about that? Look, let's show your friends over this side as well. Hey, Josh. Hello. Hey, Josh. <laughs> Completely flattened. Yeah. Now, I know what some of you are thinking at home. Maybe you're thinking it as well, that Josh is still inside the mangle. Well, I promise. Look, I'll show you. Josh is definitely not inside the mangle. In fact, Josh has completely gone. Look, he's not there. He really has gone. Yeah. <laughs> but now the thing is, do we want to bring Josh back? No! We've got to unmangle him again. Oh, no, we've got to. We've got to. Look, so let me pop this on there once again. There we go. That's it. And also this on this side as well. There we go. 
like that. And then we're gonna roll him back inside the bank and fingers crossed he will be back how we started. Here we go. Let's put him back inside like this, make sure we don't trap his fingers. We don't wanna hurt him. In he goes, all the way back inside. Has he gone back in? Yes. Now the big question is, has he been unmangled and is he back how we started? If he is, give him a massive big cheer. Are you ready? It's Josh! <laughs> how was that for you, Josh? It hurt. <laughs> <laughs> of tricks that are used to cheat people and a lot of people get taken in because they can't work out the con when it's happening but if you can work out some of the tricks that are used then you will be able to beat the cheat right here we go the idea is this uh, we're going to do a game a game with two cards uh, we've got a queen of diamonds and also we've got uh, a five of clubs so a queen of diamonds and a five of clubs now i'm going to put the queen behind my back you, all you've got to do is just tell me which one behind my back which one the queen or the five Queen. The queen. I'll show you again. We've got two cards. Uh, one is a five, one is a queen. Okay, one is a five, one is a queen. Which one do you think is behind my back? The five. The five? I'll show you one more time. Yes, uh, keep your eye on it. We'll do it one at a time. One at a time. Look, five, queen, five, queen. Which one is behind my back? Just you, five or queen? Five. Five, no, wrong again. <laughs> Nobody can ever get it right, but I'm going to give you a few more chances. Look, there's the queen, there's the five, there's the queen. Which one is behind my back? The queen! No, it's the five. Oh. Let me show you again. <laughs> Keep your eye on the cards. Five. See, what these people don't realise is that they think they've got a 50-50 chance. In fact, they've got no chance at all, because this is a complete cheat. So let's have a look at the cards, first of all. Well, this one here has got two faces, and this one here has got two backs. So when the con man puts this one behind his back like this, and you say the five of clubs, he just turns the card over like that and shows you that you were wrong. But what if someone's been watching for a while and tries to be clever and second guesses the con man? Well, he'll put the five of clubs behind the back, and if they call the queen of diamonds, He'll just show you the five of clubs again. Simple. But why can't people tell that these cards are dodgy? Because when he turns his hand over, you should be able to see that the five of clubs is just stuck to the back of the queen of diamonds. Well, here's where the command does a very tricky move. You see, as he turns his hand over, he just slides the cards from side to side. So then it will look as though both cards have backs, like that. It's brilliant. So, he can't be beaten, because he's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> and now you know the secret, you can beat the cheat. We love big illusions here on Tricky TV. And myself and the Tricky team thought, let's make something disappear. 
And then someone said, well, it's going to have to be something pretty big. Well, what better than a tank? It is massive. And we're going to make it vanish. Are you ready? Here we go. Keith, our cameraman's going to cover his camera lens with his fingers. Just cover the tank, Keith, not me. And look, with a bit of magic, the tank has gone. Completely vanished. How incredible is that? And the great thing is, I'm going to let you in on the secret of how the tank disappeared in just a moment. Also coming up in our Wicked Wind-Up, we go back to school to create the cookery class from hell. And you can amaze your mates when you learn the secret of the jumping coin. All still to come on Tricky TV. Tricky TV. Tricky TV. You are watching Tricky TV and just a moment ago, I made a tank completely disappear. And here we go. Keith, our cameraman's going to cover his camera lens with his fingers. Just cover the tank, Keith, not me. And look, with a bit of magic, the tank has gone. Completely vanished. So, how did we do it? And what is the... Hi, Steady. Nearly had my head off. So what's the secret then? Well, it's all a question of perspective. Yeah, look at this isn't a real tank, oh no. It is just a remote control model. Now what happened was, Keith, our cameraman, placed his fingers over his camera lens. There we are, to cover up the tank. And then Chris, our one-man props team, just lifted the tank away. Simple when you know how. Yeah, nice one, Chris. Tricky, Keith. <laughs> Tricky. We have chosen some of the best young magicians in the world. They are determined. They are skillful. They share the same aim, to be the best. This is Elizabeth, and she's about to do her spellbinding scarf trick. Have a look at this coin. Elizabeth places it in the center of the scarf. You can see the coin still there. And the scarf is see-through. Elizabeth traps the coin, so there's no way out. But watch this. The coin just melts through the center of the see-through scarf. Now you may be thinking, there's a hole in the scarf. Well, you'd be wrong. I showed you this clever jumping coin trick. It never fails to amaze people. Right, all I'm going to do is close my hands. Mm -hmm. The pound jumps. Oh, what? what did you... Whoa! Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> jumps. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Once you know how to do this trick, you will have people staring in amazement. Let me show you the trick again. Look, remember, the pound is here and the penny is there. Look, the pound jumps from this hand all the way over to that hand. This time, Keith, as you're coming really close, okay? Here we go. Watch it really close. Look, you can see both hands. There's the pound, there's the penny. And the pound jumps from this hand over to here. It is such a good trick. Now, this effect all relies on the hand being quicker than the eye. The only way you're going to see the secret is if we slow the whole thing down. So let's take a look at the trick in slow motion. <laughs> Good, isn't it? Now, here are some tricky tips for you. You've got to learn you don't need to throw the coin. So the coin is going to cross. If you place that in between the first and second fingers of one hand 
and the coin that isn't going to cross in the palm of the other, when you turn this hand over, the coin automatically crosses. Look, like that. You now need to learn how to trap the coin. And to do this, you just turn both hands face down at the same time. Now, I always do a little wiggle because this looks as though the magic has happened. I just do the trick like that, give a little wiggle, show the coin is not there, and it's jumped to join the penny. Once you've mastered this trick, you can then do it in midair. But you now need to learn how to catch the coin, okay? You turn your hand face down, the pound goes, and it joins the penny over here. Your friends will never know how you have done it because they are not part of the secret circle. Tricky. I'm here at the nerve centre of another undercover operation by the Tricky team. Now we're all cramped into this room at the Rochester Independent College because we're setting up the craziest cookery class you have ever seen. Now very soon there's going to be a group of volunteer pupils entering this room just here. Now they think they're testing out a cake recipe for the British Fruit Foundation. In fact they couldn't be more wrong because this is a wicked wind-up. And to help it along, I need to get into the skies. So it's up to the skills of the Tricky TV makeup maestro to transform me into Ben Bradley, head of the banana division of the British Fruit Foundation. OK, are you ready to go, Ben? Ready, Stephen. Let's break out those bananas. Here's the class arriving. First of all, I'd just like to say thanks for... This is James, the group's drama teacher, and he is in on the act. Now keep a close eye on our targets, Charlotte and Dana, because all of their ingredients have been totally tampered with by the tricky team. So to measure a quarter, can you score the outside halfway down the middle, across the middle? When you were half now, you want to divide that now. Charlotte is going to get nowhere with that butter because it's made of plaster of Paris. And now place it into the bowl. To it's totally to rock solid. Break it. And you're going to She's now trying to break it with her hands. Of caster sugar. It's now time to move on to the sugar, but that is rock solid too. It's time to add the eggs to the mixture. Uh, next you need to take the two eggs and you need to crack them and you need to put them Oh, and their eggs the are half boiled. And they absolutely stink. So pick up the uh, that, and you need to put one measuring cup of flour. Oh, the, the flour! Did I mention that we've cut the bottom out of their bag? <laughs> By now, Dana has completely lost it, and I'm actually finding it hard to keep a straight face myself. Very good. Warming up some Dana's got it back together now and goes back for the sugar. She's very determined. She's not going to give up. Right, next you're going to need your bananas. Can you all pick up your bananas? Ah, so yes, the bananas. ...is that it uses overripe bananas. So don't open the banana yet. Oops. You need to break the flesh of the banana up. So to break it up before you open it, just pick up the banana and can you give it a really good bang on the side of the bowl? So really Their bananas are frozen absolutely solid. Hold the bowl firmly. Oh, and their bowl, well, that's made of breakable wax. Keep bashing in, keep bashing in. <laughs> Um, that's the recipe over with. And I'd just like to hand over um, to uh, Ben at the back. I'd just like to say a few words to you. Yeah, I'm um, just going to say um, a, a few words about what you've been doing today. Um, you, you've, you've, all, you've, all, you've all done very, very well. Um, you've followed the directions extremely well, except for, of course, uh, your, your two friends here. Dana and Charlotte, who have found the whole thing quite amusing. Um, but um, one, <laughs> one thing I'm going to say is that uh, actually you haven't been making a video for the British Fruit Foundation. You're actually the new stars of my new TV show. <laughs> um, because with a makeover with different coloured eyes, yeah. I am Stephen Mulhern. I knew you were. Now, do you know something? You've absolutely been brilliant. And um, all of your props, they were all rigged. Then that's what, that's what, uh, that was what was making me laugh so much. <laughs>
You were so, so good. <laughs> but all, all I could hear you, all I could hear you keep saying was, "Oh, the, you broke the, you, you broke the bowl." <laughs> A cracking, wicked wind up. That's all for now, but next time, these customers find out our tricky ice cream van is stocked full of surprises. We reveal the secret of one of magic's most impressive illusions. Levitation. And see top model Caprice go mental when we show her a mind-blowing trick. That is insane! <laughs> It is going to be a great show. But now I'm trying to work out which one's best, brown or blue, blue or brown. Just can't make up my mind. But now let's take a look at some of the things that didn't make it onto today's show for obvious reasons. And I will see you very soon. <laughs> I'm free! <laughs> <laughs> this huge tank. Oh! But listen, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> this is, there's a storm brewing, but we're going to do magic. I've come along here to the Museum of Kamunda. We'll never sell ice cream to that speed. So they can see how people lived their day-to-day -day lives half a century ago. You're all... Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs>